You are listening to Garcia's Football on the Garcia's Sports Network. You are listening to the Garcia Sports Network Halftime Show, presented by Tablet Titch Electric. Call us at 661-589-WIRE or visit us online at pavelectric.com. By the Aramco Group. Purchase, refinance, reverse. Visit us at aramco.biz. Welcome back to Sam Tobias Field. Garces with their first halftime lead of 2014, seven to nothing, over the Burroughs. Burroughs, and tonight pleased to be joined by Garces head volleyball coach, freshman counselor Lacey Capolo joins us. First of all, I want to get your take on that last touchdown play from Petrini to. Sikowski to Roberson. Well, how about that? Well, that's just an exciting way to end a half, absolutely, and then to end it with a flea flicker right there. I mean, that's just awesome, and the crowd went crazy. What a great play, too. Uh, and I wish we had video to show the folks, but uh, that'll be coming up in a few short weeks. All right, so this is this year, I suppose. You're you're a new teacher at Garces, and you're you're a new coach. You're taking over a, a volleyball program, but it's really not new to you. Why don't you talk about a little bit about how you are connected now, to Garces in your past? Absolutely. Um, back, well, before I was born, my mom uh, Brooke Roberts was coaching here and teaching here. She was the head volleyball coach. And at the time, my dad was also a head football coach over at North High School, and so I was kind of born into the whole thing. And um, my brother was born while my mom was coaching here at Garces. I was also born while my mom was coaching here at Garces. And it's really neat to come back because so many uh, parents here and teachers, they had my mom back back when she was here. And they remember her and they remember both my brother and I crawling and learning to walk here and just being a part of everything. It truly is amazing, too. We, t- we talk a lot about, you know, the Garces community, the Garces family. And it, it really is... A family. I mean, we're so connected. There's so, there's just a little under 600 students here, and and everyone knows each other, and people remember stuff like that. And you and I were talking the other day. You didn't realize that you were going to walk into this, and people were actually going to know who you were, even just because of your mom way back when. Oh, you're absolutely right. I had no idea. I had no idea that I would walk the halls and people would remember or just being on the court I didn't I didn't realize that so many people remember that you know and that remember me or like I said had my mom it's really an incredible feeling it's it's like coming all the way back home, you right. know, and I remember roaming the halls as a child here and getting lost in the halls. They're still the same, by the They're, way. They, they haven't changed. From what I remember, it all looks very similar, yes. definitely. Even when my mom went here, when, yeah, she won't want me to talk about that, but it's still, this school has not changed. It's still the same. Um, very traditional. Now, you grew up here in Kern County, very athletically oriented family. Both your parents were coaches. Your brother played. What did your brother play? Justin played what? Football, Justin, baseball? Uh-huh. He was football, baseball. Yes. Okay. Yeah. At where? Where did you guys go to high we school? We went to high school at Centennial. Okay. So you and your parents uh, helped open up that school. They did. Um, and just retired. Both of them last year, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So they helped open up Centennial. Your mom went from here to Centennial and your dad from uh, north to Centennial. And uh, they've been there and obviously a huge part of the success of those programs. But talk about, I guess, the influence or the mindset of being surrounded by athletics 24-7 and how that's affected what you're now doing today. Yeah, well, I honestly don't know any different. Um, in fact, my mom went from Garces to North, actually, because she got the opportunity. That was the chance that they, the first time they got to work together. So she, uh, they, they talked to my mom about coaching at North, and her and my dad thought, oh, at the same school? You know, should we do this? And, and then all of a sudden they realized that was the answer to their lifestyle because they could see each other, you know. And so at, at North she was the head volleyball coach and he was the head football coach. 
then they decided that was that's how it was going to be. So if they were to move to Centennial, it was either all or nothing. So they they decided they were a package deal at that point, and then they did open up Centennial, and um, that was 21 years uh, they were there. And but just being around athletes, I remember I remember being little at Garces in the gym. I remember watching the games. I remember playing on the football field after games here at Garces, and then also over to North and then at Centennial. Our, all of our babysitters were football players, volleyball players, baseball players. We got to, we were the water girl and water boy. We shagged so many volleyballs and footballs and baseballs, I can't even tell you. So they just, they took us everywhere. That's awesome. Yeah, we, uh, Again, to talking back about your mom, and you were an assistant under her at Centennial for for how long were you there? Gosh, it was uh, around seven years. Okay. So yeah. So you got to kind of, I guess, coach under her per se, or she coached under you per se, but um, the opposite, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely the, coached under her. Right. Yeah. You get the point. You get yeah. the point. Um, so she obviously, and now you're a head coach, how much what she taught you not only when you were growing up but also when you were a coach now influences how you coach and teach today? Uh, so much of what I do now, coaching, counseling, teaching, you know, I, since I grew up in a household like that, they honestly practice what they preach. So when they would focus on the work ethic and dedication that it took and create leaders and, and life learners, is what they kind of did with their teams and build character before anything else. That was the focus always before the sport was to make sure that the character was strong and the determination was there. And that's how we lived in our home. And a lot of people ask me, was it always so intense in our home? It was a joyful home. Everybody, we were, we were, they said, you're going to be independent. That's all there is to it, you know? So we all did a job. We did our part because our life was absolutely insane at a lot of time in my life, my mom wasn't only the head volleyball coach here at Garza, she was the head softball coach. And so she was actually, um, well, for example, she was coaching third base pregnant with me and she was jumping and trying to, you know, call her runner home. And they said, oh my gosh, coach, when are you due? And she said, I'm fine, just three days ago, <laughs> you know? Well, at the time my dad was coaching football and they had him coaching softball at, Gar at North. And so they even had to play each other. And they oh both- goodness they both won equally and it was always the same score so um, anyhow but it just it was one of those things that then when we would come home it wasn't always such an intense environment it was fun there was laughter but we all we all had to pull our weight because they were both fall and spring co coaches for many 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 years honestly up until through high school really so um, we just we just worked hard in our house and laughed a lot and had a really good time Garces head volleyball coach uh, Lacey Capolo is our guest. The Rams with a halftime lead over Burroughs, seven to nothing. All right, so now to to this 2014 volleyball team. You guys just had a huge win over Independence, and uh, your first experience as a head coach for the home team at Garces. You've always seen what it, the environment can be like, but now to have it on your side, what was that like? Uh, it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better playing in Garces' gym when you are with Garces. Yes. I will say that. Yes. Uh, it's a gym that when I had to play in or compete against, uh, you remember it as yeah. an opponent. You absolutely remember it. You remember the crowd. It's definitely an experience. So I'm very thankful that now I'm a Ram yes. and that I get to experience <laughs> on this indefinitely and take everything that I learned um, from both my parents with all the life lessons and coaching and detail and also watching my mom and every single move that she made in volleyball. I feel like I paid very close attention. Sometimes I don't think I even realized how much attention I was paying to her. And uh, now I'm starting to realize, oh, I was I was really watching. You know, <laughs> I really I really believed what what both of my parents were doing. I, I believed in it a lot. And then I was able to use my college experience also in some ways. Um, I, I played four years of college and was able to take some of the things that I learned there also. So has your mom talked to you at all? Hey, you know, I was watching you coach and you, know, you really do this like me or anything. Does she notice that too? I don't even know if she knows what she was like. You know, <laughs> she, it was, I, I laugh because my parents, they, I don't know if they ever really watched the news themselves. You know, they would watch it 
regularly of other things, but they wouldn't really watch themselves too often. They're always too tired. Right, <laughs> yeah. Oh, they I would, imagine. They would go to bed. The 11 o'clock news was too late. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if she knew what she looked like, but other people tell me that I kind of do. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, well. Yeah. Um, so you guys won in four games over Independence, which is a good team. I mean, people... Um, kind of like to generalize, I guess, based on other sports, which is not a good way to classify how teams can play, but they have a very strong outside hitter in Brianna Runnels, and you guys pretty much shut her down for the entire game. Talk about your team's performance. But that was a great win because they, they really are an awesome team, and they have been for a while. They're very strong, and you're right. She is a very, very strong player, and um, it's honestly, it's really just watching her hit, it's just it's awesome she can get you up know, there she can absolutely get up there yeah. and and i and i know that um she'll do some great things but it's not just her either she's surrounded by a great team she really is she's got some solid players behind her so for us to be able to come out and do that i think was just a great start for us because we've always um we we talk about it a lot on that we work on our details like i said and to be very disciplined and you have to be you have to be to be able to to beat teams like that and players like that because that is a very high level that that they're playing at so it was really exciting definitely exciting to be able to do that and absolutely we had to make some changes because that first game she really took it to us definitely yeah. you know when we had to um we were our first match had to get some jitters out i think yes, too and yes. you know the crowd went crazy oh, so yeah. that was good but we uh we certainly had to kind of come together calm it down and um, change the way we think a little bit and how we approached it and then we were um, our defense really started to step up and um, our offense was able to produce after that because our defense really started to just really take care of that back row and our, our blocking really made some changes to help us out a lot too. First year head volleyball coach Lacey Capolo is with us halftime the Rams 7 and nothing over the Burroughs Burroughs next Wednesday Keeping on the theme of volleyball, mm -hmm. big game. Big game. Big game. Uh, Bakersfield <laughs> Christian is going to come to the snow dome. I know as a coach, you don't like to say that we, you know, we don't want to look too far ahead. We want to take it game by game. But come on, you got to look at the schedule and think, okay, that's a game that we know that's going to be a huge game. Well, I definitely know coming into Garces now, I've, I've actually been told more than I know how, what a huge game it's yes. going to be. And then now what we see what Bakersfield Christian has been doing this season, yeah. they've done some great things. Yeah. And so yeah, I think through that it's just it's going to be a very exciting game, absolutely. Yeah. And Bakersfield Christian, for, for those of you who don't know, defeated – uh, Centennial defeated Liberty, yeah. took third place up in the Clovis tournament, which is yeah. chocked full of great Division One powerhouses from not only Bakersfield but from the Clovis area as well. And uh, wow, that's going to be a fun one. All right, uh, first of all, we, we're going to wrap it up here. Lacey Capolo, thank you again for joining us tonight. Your prediction for the rest of the game? Well, I'm going Rams all of the course. way. Of <laughs> course. So you got it. You got a score for me, or what? What do you think? Oh, I don't. Uh, 21-7. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So there you have it. 21-7. to seven. That's her pick. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Halftime just about to wind down to a close. Rams 7 and nothing again. Thanks so much for joining Thank us again you. tonight. And welcome to... Welcome to Garces, even though you've been here I'm for I'm loving now. it. Yeah. I'm loving it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All righty, folks. Uh, we'll be right back.